I'm going to hate this video. So I mentioned it in a few videos recently, within like the last month or so, but uh, my computer's starting to show its age. My computer is, I, I found when I bought it, it six and a half years old. I bought it in July of 2015 and it's been good. I mean, a lot of the stuff that I got, it was maybe not quite top of the line when I got it, but pretty close. So it's actually been pretty good over six and a half years. I've upgraded like the hard drives, I added more RAM, but for the most part, I haven't really needed to do anything to upgrade it. But now it's it's starting to slow down. It's starting to... Th th there's plenty of things I do that I, I kind of notice problems now. For example, I've never really had problems recording and uh, playing a game at the same time. Uh, now the recording just seems to start to lag a bunch for no reason. It just yells at me that it's an encoding overload. I have to specifically tell OBS to record at a higher priority so that it takes the CPU power before everything else just so it doesn't lag. There's also a couple other things like rendering and X, Y, and Z. Like, there's plenty of other things that I've noticed where it's just... It, it's definitely starting to show its age. So the plan was upgrade graphics card, upgrade processor. Graphics card, already done. That went fine. Uh, it, it's a little, little big for the case. Uh, I have like maybe an eighth of an inch room in there, but, uh, you know, it's, it's fine. It's working and it really didn't improve anything. It did sort of fix the recording issue where I haven't seen the encoding overload thing recently. So I, it, it probably helped there. And there are a couple games that I've played where graphics actually matter and I can run on, like, ultra graphics. So it, it has definitely made a difference, but it didn't fix the main bottleneck, which is the CPU. So I uh, got one off uh, Newegg Shuffle, I, where you basically just enter to for the chance to buy something, and uh, I luckily was selected just just like with the graphics card was selected. Problem is, uh, because my computer is six and a half years old, the motherboard, I think I can upgrade one generation. I'd have to check, but I think the processor in my computer now is fourth gen i7, uh, so I might be able to upgrade to like fifth gen and it'd be fine, but uh, yeah, I they definitely can't handle a 12th gen processor. So, needed to get a new motherboard, which meant I also need a new RAM because the motherboard in my computer uses DDR3 and you can't get a DDR3 motherboard for the processor. I also needed new cooling because the fan in my computer won't fit this processor. I wanted a new case because, like I said, I have barely any room with the graphics card, so I wanted to just get ahead of that and actually get a full tower because right now I have a mid tower. So it turned from me upgrading my computer to me just building a new computer. I think the only thing I'm bringing over from that computer is the hard drives and then probably putting new hard drives in it and using that as like a local server for something. I don't know. I haven't really decided what I'm doing with that computer. Uh, I think there's probably parts that are about to go in it, so I don't really want to give it to anyone, so I'll probably just use it for programming or something. But yeah, we'll see. I have to figure that out. The problem with this is I'm not a hardware guy. There's a reason why I work as a programmer, and I stick to that. I don't never go on to other areas of IT because uh, I can handle the software. I can look at code, figure out what the code's doing, and modify it to do whatever I need it to do. But uh, when it comes to hardware, I understand the basics. I know where all of these pieces go, but uh, there's a lot of stuff that I don't know. And if my friend didn't go through an upgrade process recently that was absolutely disastrous, I wouldn't have underst I, I wouldn't have known half of the problems that he went through. And I would have run into him and been like, I have no idea how to fix this. So luckily for me, he did go through that process. So there's a lot of things that I uh, sort of planned ahead for. I'll get to that in a bit. Other than that, there's two 
problems that I could see potentially happening with this build. First one, see right here, this case is tempered glass. Now, I didn't realize that when I bought the case. I just wanted a clear case because there's plenty of times where I need to look into the computer because like something's rattling or whatever and I just want to make sure it's not like a wire caught in a fan or anything like that. And I have to take off the whole side of the case to do that. I wanted a clear case so I could just look in, be like, nope, nothing looks bad. It's probably just a fan rattling or something. Unfortunately, I ended up getting a tempered glass case and then was told afterwards that tempered glass is super fragile and there's like a bunch of horror stories of people with tempered glass cases just putting the glass down wrong and it just shattering and uh, I'm me and that's absolutely going to happen at some point. Hopefully it doesn't happen during this build. Hopefully the uh, build goes fine, but that's still a ongoing issue that I'm going to have to worry about. I have to be like very fucking careful with this case. If the glass breaks, I might just look for like acrylic or something. Figure out what like the heat resistance of certain types of acrylic are and just like get a sheet of that, drill holes and be good. Because this is just a straight glass sheet. Like this side and this side, it's just a glass sheet. Like there's no plastic or anything around it. It's just nothing but glass. <laughs> I, 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 I feel like that is absolutely not foolproof and I am going to screw that up somehow. I'm going to break this eventually. The other problem's more of a pressing issue and it's kind of the reason why I'm so paranoid about this build and why I think it's gonna go wrong. And that's this asshole right here. So the motherboard specs wise is fine. It's gonna do what I need it to do. It's DDR4 because DDR5 RAM is fucking expensive because of scalpers. It, in general, it should be fine if it wasn't an MSI motherboard. So, my friend also had an MSI motherboard. And when he put his computer together, everything seemed fine uh, until he booted into the BIOS and realized that half the firmware just wasn't installed on the motherboard. Which sucks, but he thought, whatever. I have a disk drive, plug the disk drive in, and just load the firmware onto it. Except the computer wouldn't turn on a second time, because the power supply blew. And uh, when the power supply blew, it also surged and fried four of his hard drives. Luckily, I guess the processor has surge protection, his graphics card had surge protection, like everything attached to it other than that had surge protection. He also lost like an adapter for one of his... Uh, monitors like a dvi to display port adapter but that that could be replaced easily the hard drives and the power supply were the big issue and it turns out it like he thought it was the power supply he thought the power supply was probably the issue like just hit that max wattage and it just fried uh no apparently it's a known issue with these motherboards at least uh, well i should say a much more known issue with the cheaper version of the motherboard. I have the more expensive version, so hopefully I'm fine. When he went to the store, the computer parts store that he bought his other motherboard at, uh, he, he went in, told the dude what happened without telling him motherboard. The dude was like, ah, MSI, the new, the new series for the i9 12th gen, the cheaper one, the 221. And my friend was like, yeah, how'd you know? He goes, yeah, we've I've seen like 50% of them get returned. So uh like the motherboard's fine, it's just the QA apparently is god awful and that's a known issue with MSI that I didn't know before I bought this motherboard. And by by the time he found that out, I already had the motherboard. So I I was fucked at that point. So hopefully this doesn't go bad, but if I boot into the BIOS and realize that half the firmware is missing, I might just take it out return it and then get an Asus motherboard or something that I know is going to work because I don't trust it enough to be in my computer if it if I, if I boot into it and the firmware is gone uh, I know they didn't QA it and I'm not willing to trust that it's also the reason why I got a new power supply because I was just going to reuse the power supply on my old computer but if it does fry the power supply I kind of want that backup because I'm going to have to get a new motherboard, get a new power supply. I don't want to be without a computer for like a couple days. And I got an external hard drive to start backing up stuff to that. Because I also don't want to lose... If I lose any of those hard drives, I just want to 
have that backup where you could just get a new <laughs> new hard drive and uh, just restore the backup. Uh, basically, his entire ordeal has given me a lot of things that I needed to pay attention to, and uh, I'm internally panicking, and it's, it's kind of the reason why I'm still rambling and haven't gotten on with the build, because uh, it's going to be a disaster. Uh, but I... I just gotta go for it. I can't. I can't really delay any longer. Let's let's cross our fingers and hope that I just plug everything in. It works, and I don't have to deal with it anymore. Ah, <sighs> all right. Let's get started. I guess first things first. Uh, let's open the case. Get these glass panels off uh, and not break them. Also, I did open the balcony door. And window in my bedroom. Hopefully there's not too much background noise, but if there is, deal with it. It's fucking hot outside. I don't know why. Well, not hot outside. It's like 70, but it gets really toasty in my apartment because apparently the insulation is just absolutely god tier. I did have to open this... Yeah... Yesterday did I open it? I just opened it to make sure I had motherboard screws because I didn't... I, I saw that the listing said it had motherboard screws, but I never verified. Uh, so I just opened it up, pulled out the boxes of extra stuff just to make sure. Uh, I do. It does. It does have motherboard screws, so we're good there. Also, it being, like, nice and toasty in my apartment is not going to make it any less frustrating. I'm already gonna be frustrated from this, but it being hot is just gonna make it that much worse. Alright, it's all off. Here's the transfer. So all it is right now, if I can kind of see it, there's just like eight holes in the side. You can kind of maybe see on camera with the other side of the case. It's just eight screws that hold it in. So once you take out the last screw, it, it's still held on. There's like rubber things that kind of like hold it in place. But as soon as you move it off of that, it just drops. So, so you need to like... Be careful where you're holding, and uh, I'm me, again, I, I mentioned that before, I'm me, so being careful is not a strong suit. Uh, but I got one off, I just now need to put it down somewhere. I put it on the couch, the couch is soft, it shouldn't break there, right? Uh, the other side, would it make sense to put this down and take it off? Well, it's, I, don't, I don't trust myself to transfer this, I don't tr trust myself to tilt this while there's still glass on. Uh, let's be honest. Oh, all right. You're good. You're good. I might scratch up my table from this. Ah, it looks fine. Good. You're good. Just lower it down. It's fine. Yeah, you see, it's it's fine. It's fine. It's absolutely gonna scratch up my table now because it's just metal hitting the table and not the like soft like the plastic and rubber feet. Oh, it's pinching my finger. Ah. Oh. Okay, we're good. We're good, it's down. <sighs> Only problem with this is now when I take the glass off, I gotta lift it up and that's... It's fine. Now the lift, I don't trust myself with this <laughs> at all. Um, once it's off, I'm more confident. It's just getting it... <sighs> I'm so fucking nervous. Oh! Lift it off, we're good. We're good, let's put this on the couch too. I don't know what these are for, there's just like... Ah! Oh, these are LED strips. Right, I... So, I kind of like, accidentally fell into RGB. Uh, when I put my graphics card in, like, a couple days later, I noticed that there were RGB lights on it. I had no idea. I had, I had no idea I had an R RGB graphics card. I just got whatever I could get at the time. And uh, then the case is like, hey, this has RGB fans and fucking light strips. I don't even know if I'm going to use these because I really don't care about the RGB. It just sort of, like, happened to me. Hold on. I got the case instructions. What's next? Uh, remove panel. Got that. Motherboard. And then it says power supply. Oh, the motherboard, it includes, like, the everything else. So I, I've never done this before because my last computer, I just bought one from CyberPower. I just let them put it together because I didn't care. Not that I didn't care actually, I just didn't want to do this part. So I'm assuming I 
can put the motherboard in and then put the CPU in the motherboard. I mean, it's just like a... I'll put the motherboard in first. Let's see how that goes. Gotta stay protected. Gotta... Okay, that opened weirdly. Gotta get the static gloves. Th this is how not much of a hardware guy I am. Uh, my friend mentioned getting, like, static gloves and stuff, and I was like, why do I need those? Like, I just didn't even... Well, I guess I wasn't like, why do I need those? I kind of understood why I needed them. It was just one where it's like, I didn't think about it. It didn't even cross my mind that I, that I should get... I need to take this off. It didn't even cross my mind that I uh, should get gloves for static. All right, so the motherboard... Where can I put this down? I guess I just put it close to the camera. The camera doesn't need to see the motherboard. They're, it's going to see it, like, go in to the computer. So I got some things. There's a bunch of wires that I'll probably need. Oh, uh, that's all, like, the SATA cables and stuff. I will need those. I don't know what half the shit is, though. <laughs> I'm going to need another instruction manual. Uh, but I think the putting it in to the computer part, I can at least do. Ah, yes. I see. Avoid collision. I mean, I feel like that's just an obvious... Like, I don't know why you needed to have plastered around all the screw things. Avoid collision. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> that just seems like the most obvious thing you could be telling me right now. Like, hey, don't throw your motherboard against the wall. Oh my god, you don't say. Alright, I'm clearly doing something wrong. Uh, huh. Or maybe I'm not doing something wrong, I'm just not maneuvering it correctly. Or is it because the fan's already there? Did the fan fuck me up? Oh no, the fan's not... That's not the fan. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. I think I need to take off one of the, like, graphics card, like, blocker things. <sighs> I'm already frustrated. This shouldn't be frustrating me this early. I haven't even gotten the first part into the case. These gloves also aren't making anything easier, because I can't, like really feel what I'm doing. Like, it, it's weird how, because it deadens my sense of touch, like, I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. Okay, that fixed nothing because <laughs> there's still metal there. Oh, I hate this. I hate this already. Why do people like doing this? I think anyone that likes doing this must just be a psychopath. That's the only ex explanation I can come up with. Because there's no enjoyment to be had here. I can't. I can't. What, what am I missing? What am I missing? So what I'm doing right now is this part. I need to get that into there so that all the screw holes and everything line up. I can't get that part into there. This this hole does just it, it doesn't want to work. The instruction manual doesn't help. It basically just says like just. just Put it in the slot, idiot. It's so easy. How? How? How is this supposed to... Like, there's metal shit on the side, and I can't slip it. it like, I can't fit it. Oh my god. How is this supposed to work? How is this... Like, I feel like I'm supposed to be able to take something off and then just, like, screw it back in on the case, but it, there's nothing. It's all, like, riveted. Is it not supposed to go in the slot? Maybe it's just... Oh my god, it- I- no. Ah, the glove's getting attached to the goddamn- The motherboard is pulling out the threads from the glove. That's, uh, that's where I am right now. Oh my god, it does- uh, no, it doesn't. I was gonna say, it lines up without me doing it. Maybe it does? Okay, it does line up. I don't need to fit that through the slot. Kind of. It doesn't. It doesn't s line, up, line up to all of them at once. This is wrong. Like, it needs to go through through there, but it can't. My old computer, there's like bent metal, and I don't know if it's those, but that seems wrong. Like, I don't feel like I should be bending anything. Yeah, because if I push it up against, it definitely does not line up. So it needs to fit in there. I'm at the first step, and I'm already fucking baffled. I don't... I don't know. Do I need to unscrew that? That seems wrong. No, that's definitely not right. I'm not about to start unscrewing the motherboard. Shut up. So the problem, is they really didn't explain it and I've been trying for a while, is there's this like weird metal plate around the thing and that doesn't fit. Everything else fits, but that metal plate is kind of like preventing it from 
fitting correctly. It, like, doesn't quite line up with the motherboard screws. I think it's fine. I think it lines up enough. But, uh, that, that is annoying as fuck. It seems like that's actually what's supposed to happen, but it, like, doesn't quite line up with the motherboard screw things. And that's why I'm like, I'm not sure if this is right. <laughs> Shouldn't be drinking coffee over my new computer. That's, that's a disaster waiting to happen. Well, over the motherboard. If it was just the case, whatever, I can clean it up. But the motherboard's in there. So, uh, don't want to do that. Also, everything I saw showed people doing the motherboard stuff outside of the computer. But my friend also made me paranoid with just the static. Because he's like, don't put it down here. Don't put it down on the table if it has any sort of varnish on it, which I think it does. Don't put it down on, like, other things because it you know, might just static and I'm just like I'll put it in the computer and do it from there. I, I mean it's not bad. I mean I just need to do the CPU and the cooling. That's it. Everything else it would be in the computer anyway. So like I, it should be fine. Which one of these is the screws? Uh, one of these has the motherboard screws in it. Also to, to tell you how this is going, uh, my computer just told me I maxed out the recording time and all I've done is try to figure out how to get the motherboard in. So, uh, that's the kind of day I'm having. What fucking ones are the motherboard screws? I have so many screws and I don't know which ones are the motherboard. Are those the mo- There they are. I'm 90% sure those are- Nope, there's only like four of them. Five. This can't be. Those are too big. Those definitely are not. So, it's one of the packs of like 17 million screws. Yeah, because these all look the same. So maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe it's just like- Sort of universal? Oh, it has PSU. Okay, power supply. But then this one just has nothing. This one's just generic screws. Motherboard! They're labeled. They're labeled. I'm apparently already too frustrated to notice text. This is an absolute fucking nightmare already. I hate this. I, again, I don't understand people that enjoy building computers. Because, especially because I think Almost every story I've heard of someone upgrading their computer has been a horror story. Or maybe not a horror story, but like, not everything goes right. It's always like, hey, we put the computer together and it doesn't boot up. And why doesn't it boot up? Oh, because, y and then you need to diagnose, like, is the motherboard bad? Is the power supply bad? Is the RAM bad? And it's always something different. And it's just like, why is this fun to you? And that's coming from someone that played through Unicorn Princess. So I, I know about torturing myself, but like, I, I don't understand. But like, I'm also not leaving Unicorn Princess going like, yeah, that was a good time, that was fun. I know it was shit. Like, like there are people that are just like, so frustrated by the end of the build, and then they're like, yeah, that was fun. I also don't have a light, which is a problem. I could set up my phone. Got the flashlight on my phone. Let's uh, just prop it up in here. That changed absolutely nothing. Now I just have a bright light in my face. <laughs> that really didn't improve much. I can kind of see a little better, but it's not like a massive improvement. Once I get the second screw in, it should fall into place because then I have both corners, which means every other one should fit. There we go. Okay, it does fit. It does fit, we're good. We're good, my hair is getting in the way too. You know, maybe one day I'll cut my hair. So the entire time I've had that computer, I haven't cut my hair. Because I got that in July in July of 2015, and the last time I've had an actual haircut is February of 2015. I, I was about to say, I, I'm, I'm not sure which one came first, but no. I cut my hair bef months before I got that computer, so... Yeah, I, I need a haircut. <laughs> Finally, we're at a part of the video that I can actually do properly and we could probably just skip unless I get frustrated by screws which is possible because I'm already frustrated. I had to fucking say something. That dropped in like a crack in the- I can't get that out without like turning it over. I haven't even gotten to the stuff that should be going wrong. It's just... why? I do have a magnet. This should work, right? Yeah. Oh, that's very magnetic. Uh, I just have like weird like magnetic push pins that were on my whiteboard in my kitchen. Oh my god, that worked so well. I'm keeping this off to the side. 
just in case I need that, because uh, that's not going to be the first screw I drop, or it was the first screw. You know what I mean. It's not going to be the last, is what I meant. I could be playing Monster Rancher right now. That's what I could be doing with my time. Probably be a better use of my time, but no. No. Not playing Monster Rancher. Building a fucking computer. And that's the best part. Like, most of... It, this isn't even for gaming. I already upgraded the graphics card, but the processor's not even for gaming. It's mostly for recording and everything, because, like, the games I play are not graphics or processor intensive. Like, Forza Horizon's probably the most graphics intensive one that I've played recently. I haven't even really played that. I've been playing Monster Rancher, played like Bloom's Tower Defense, even recording. I've played freaking ATV Off from Fury, Flashpoint, just random stuff, and Ape Escape. Like, I haven't played anything that I need this powerful of a processor for, but you know what? I'm gonna fucking have it. I haven't upgraded- I've spent nothing on this computer outside of, again, RAM, hard drive, and replacing the cooling multiple times, because the liquid cooling went, replaced it with the same liquid cooling, that went, replaced it with a fan. So I've done nothing, essentially, to this computer, put barely any money into this computer. I- I want- I, I keep saying this computer. This computer's not- I haven't put any money into, except- well, I guess I put all of the- my brain. This computer's new. The other computer's not. That's what I'm getting at. And I'm just already broken by this computer. Okay, I'm missing one. I put in eight screws. There's a ninth one. So, oh, it's in that hole. Uh, that, that's good because that's exactly where I'm going to drop another screw. If I don't, I'm going to be impressed. I sure did. Uh, but I may have dropped it in a perfect place where, uh, uh yep. It actually fell, like, partially into the hole, so I could fix it. Well, the board screw's done. CPU is probably next. I actually need this, because I've never had to do anything with CPU. This is the part that I don't really understand. Ow! Oh! Okay, that is spring-loaded. Good to know. This is also where I finally get to open this thing, which is in the both dumbest and most awesome packaging ever. Like, it's cool looking, but, like, why? Also, you know what? Since I'm actually working on the computer part, I'm gonna change the camera angle as well. So you guys can actually see inside and see what I'm failing at. Yeah, that's good enough. I mean, it's not like this is a tutorial or anything. You're not seeing... You're not gonna get any good uh, information from this. It's mostly to watch me fail miserably. Uh, so, uh... Yeah. Oh, oh, also you can't see my face, just like the chocolate covered what's the the, the, the fluffernutter. That's what I did, which uh, again, might be a might be a benefit. All right. Stay out. No. Bad. Do I Hold on, what does this say? Do I need this? Oh, it's just another set of instructions of telling me how to put in a processor. Cool. You can also now see easily how fucking torn up this glove got from the motherboard. I don't know why Computer parts are so sharp, but they are. And, uh, this glove was the casualty of that. Like, all of this, I know you need it protected, but, like, all of this for this. It just seems odd. Oh, there's little notches. Okay, so it's this way. Got it. Okay. I was confused because it's just a rectangle and there's no indication of what way it goes in. And I would absolutely be the one that puts it in the wrong way. Actually, no, I would have looked it up first. So into those notches, there it is, it's set. Yeah, that's that's in right, okay. There also is a little arrow that I didn't realize that tells you where it needs to go. So I did put it in right, we're good. Next, cooling. Okay, cool, need to get that out. See, this is where the camera angle doesn't really work, but I got this, that's backwards. Uh, It's just a liquid cooling thing. It's, look, if you expected me to, like, go through all the technical specs and everything, uh, what fuck channel do you think you're watching? I was never going to do that. I can't even get the box open. Oh my god. This box is like fucking Alcatraz. Why can't I open? Oh, because I was opening it wrong. <laughs> uh, good. That sounds about right. Move the camera again, because I realized, uh, I need to actually, like, put the fans on the thing. Like, it's not just t together. 
which I don't know why I thought it might be, but uh, I need I need instructions for this. There's way too many fucking parts. Like, I'm assuming these are for different processors. Like, that's what these are for. Like, I, I think there's multiple, like, of the settings, so it's for different processor, like, sizes. But I'm gonna need to look that up, because uh, I don't trust myself to just choose the correct one. That's not... In where's the English? I can't read that. Ah, yeah, it has AMD and Intel. Intel mounting bracket comes pre-installed. Oh! But what is the backplate for? Oh, here's the actual instructions. What is the socket? Because it, it has numbers. I don't remember what it is. What numbers? 1700, that's what I thought. Attach the, oh my god. I need to take the motherboard out. So, I think I need to put on the backplate. Although this doesn't say anything about 1700. Like, mine's 1700, this has nothing about seven. I'm confused. So I think I need to take the motherboard out so I can put the backplate on. But the issue is, this one doesn't explicitly say it supports the side, like, the... This one was sold with the processor, so it has to work with it. Like, I, it, there's no way it doesn't, unless Newegg's incompetent, there's no way this doesn't work with it. But I need to take the motherboard out. <laughs> Shit. I'm gonna be really upset if I did all this and then find out that this doesn't work with it, or that I didn't need to take the motherboard out, or any of that. I'm gonna be kind of upset. I also now see the mistake in saying, I'll just put the motherboard in and put everything in afterwards. I didn't realize about the whole back bracket thing. I also just realized I didn't need to take the motherboard out. There's a uh, back, there's a hole in the back where I would just have to flip the case up. It's there. I hate everything. I hate this. I absolutely fucking hate this. I hate this. I, I, this is, this sucks. This is the worst. This is awful. I hate this. I hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. This fucking, I hate. Yep, that right there. That's why I didn't need to take the mother brother off in the first place. But I mentioned I hate this already. <sighs> oh my god, I just looked it up. So it's LGA 1700 compatible. It doesn't come with the bracket, so I need to request a bracket. And get a bracket and then finish this build. Already hate this. Already fucking, oh my god. Why, why do people, why do people build computers? Why do people like building computers? So that bracket, I don't need. I need a different bracket, because, <laughs> fuck me. Okay, so after calming down a bit, I did a little more searching. So, yeah, basically the cooler that I got, it came with the thing on Newegg, basically saying like, hey, this one should be compatible, like it, selling it with it. Uh, the LGA-17 bracket doesn't come with it. You have to contact Asus support, which their support site fucking sucks, because it's like, you can call them, but then there's like some pages that have chat with the support rep, but like, I, I just, I just want the bracket. Like, they don't have a, they released this thing, but didn't make a page of just like, hey, request a bracket, and then I found like a completely separate, like, company that makes cooling things that are just like, oh yeah, you just go here and do this, and then we'll send you a bracket. Like, it's not that... Like, they they just made it so overly complex, it feels like. I did find a forum post on Asus's support site that kind of made sense. Basically said, they also have, uh, like, a lot... They were talking specifically about the Asus motherboards, that the Asus motherboards also have, like, the 12, LGA 1200 bracket size, and you could just use a mounting kit for that, because the thing that matters is that the cooling is making good contact with the CPU. So I tried it. I took out the motherboard, put in the mounting bracket fully, put in the C put the CPU back in, because I took it out because I figured like I'd put it back in the case because I'm not gonna be using it. And then just put the liquid cooling on it. And it liquid cooling, I guess, has some uh thermal paste like already on it. And sure enough, when I take it off, there is an area where there was thermal paste on 
the CPU, meaning it's making contact with the CPU, meaning it should work fine. Worst case scenario, it doesn't cool anything, and when well, I get like my computer working and then I turn it on and realize the CPU is overheating, that point I just run out and get another uh, cooling thing, one that comes with the actual mounting bracket, and then I have that mounting bracket for if I need to replace the cooling in the future. I could just use the one that I already have with the mounting bracket, but it should work I de uh, in theory. So let's, let's try that. I need to put the fans on the radiator. I want to do that, put the fans on the radiator, put the everything on the motherboard, put the motherboard back in. I might put the motherboard back in first, since I, I, I only took it out because I needed to, like, see down low, make sure it, uh, like, actually aligned properly. But I could probably take it out, or put it back in now. I will say, I now know how my dad feels when he works on cars. Because he is also the kind that just gets, like, super frustrated at just stuff not working, not fitting together. I understand that feeling now. The only difference is he's also like all the people that get super frustrated computers and then are like, yeah, that was fun. Where he'll, he, he actually likes working on cars, so he gets super frustrated, but then still works on cars. <laughs> I mean, at least in his case, it's like a money-saving thing, but... I, I I don't I don't I just don't get that mindset of being like so fucking frustrated and then being just like Yeah, I had a good time. I swear to god after putting in taking out that motherboard three times I if that motherboard like I said at the beginning where it's like it could be a dud if that motherboard ends up just not working uh, I will probably just break down crying on on camera like, I, I don't think I've ever had a reason to cry on camera, but you will see me break down and bawl like a fucking baby. Because I, I just... It's just... I, I feel like I, I... It's what? It's afternoon. When did I start this? Like, 10? Have I already been doing this for two hours? I've been doing this for two hours and I haven't even gotten the fucking, like, motherboard everything, like, set up. I haven't even gotten the power supply part yet. That's the part I thought was going to be frustrating because having to move all the wires. No, it's the getting the fucking motherboard and the cooling in. There's so much footage that's just me screwing screws in. I, like, I'm going to be able, I've been recording so much, probably filling the fuck up out of this SD card. I'm just going to be able to cut out, like, 90% of this video. I've actually, like, started turning off the camera when I'm just, like, screwing things in. It's just, this should be going quick enough that I don't know if anything, like, bad is going to happen. I mean, it shouldn't. But I just... I'm broken. Like, this is worse than Unicorn Princess Broken. This is worse than Horse Racing 2016 Broken. I mean, I I was gonna say those, I, like, put myself through them, like, but I guess this technically I put myself through it, because I could've just, if I really wanted a full computer upgrade, I could've just, uh, you know, gone to somewhere that, like, pre like, builds computers for you, like I did with my last computer. But, no. I decided hey, I want to, well, I, I guess I didn't really decide I wanted to build my own computer. I decided I wanted to upgrade a few parts and then realized I needed to upgrade pretty much every part, which led to me basically building my own computer because I already had half the parts. So it's like, well, I guess I need the other half. But this is just absolutely fucking miserable. <laughs> like, there's no other way to put it. I... I I don't think I ever want to do this again. All right, now what I've been working towards for like fucking ever at this point, actually putting the cooling into the uh, into the PC. Do we have thermal paste? There's th thermal paste on it, so I probably shouldn't need this, but let's just put a little bit extra. Only because I already like put it on and took it off, so I'm f thinking something. I don't know what I'm thinking, but uh, there's a little extra on there now. This should go on like this. The thing doesn't quite like fit around the screws. Like the screws don't go into the holes correctly because the bracket's not for this, but it's good enough where I should be able to like screw this on and 
it should be fine. Again, the big thing is that it makes contact with the CPU, from what I understand, and it does. It's just, I guess the mounting bracket is like a little taller than the other ones, so I guess the bracket would just be like, same thing, different like hole placement, but just slightly raised up, which just means I just don't tighten them all the way to the point where it's like as tight as possible, because that would be pressing probably too hard on everything. But if I just uh, make it snug enough, good, good, this is gonna be a disaster, but like right now it seems fine. And that's what matters. What matters is does it seem all right now? Because if it seems all right now, then it's not my problem, it's future me's problem. So that's how it lines up with the top of my case. I just need to, like, actually screw it in. No, honestly, this wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't for everything you have to screw in. Like, if it was like the graphics card, graphics card's easy. It just snaps into place. The RAM's easy. It just snaps into place. Oh, I should put the RAM in before I do this, because it's kind of, like, uh, slightly blocked. Yeah, let's do that quick. I also should not, like, destroy the case by slamming shit on it. I am so glad I mentioned something before I act like an idiot. You know, more so than usual. Just in case you need any more proof that I'm a fucking idiot and know nothing about computers, uh, I didn't realize I actually needed new RAM. I thought I could use the RAM for my old computer. Didn't realize RAM was not backwards compatible. Uh, so I'm glad my friend told me that, because I basically would have, uh, just gotten no new RAM. I, I actually had a DDR5 motherboard, uh, like, bought. It hadn't shipped yet, but I had it bought, and it's like, oh yeah, uh, DDR5 RAM is expensive as hell. Like, ah, awesome. Uh, let's get rid of that and then get a different motherboard. See, that just snaps into place. That's so much easier. Why can't all computer parts be like that? Where did I put the screws that I was going to use? Uh, there's some here, but I feel like I had another set. Eh. It'll turn up eventually. It's fine. Actually, I might not have grabbed two sets. I might have grabbed one. I, I genuinely don't remember. I did realize I missed one of these screws, though. Not that it would have mattered too much, but it might have, like, rattled, and that would have annoyed me. And I'm annoyed enough already. Oh! There it is. I found it. It was underneath the RAM box. <laughs> that's where I put it. Because, uh, you know, that's a good place to put something I'm trying to find underneath something else. All right. It's on. Now it's just the tedious screw everything in part of the build. Well, the tedious screw everything in part, and then I get to the power supply and get the tedious plug everything in part. But mention how much I hate this. All right, now there's so many cables to connect. Uh, this is the part that I thought was going to be a pain in the ass, but and it probably still will be, but it turns out this was not the biggest pain in the ass already. I have uh, four cables I need to connect, which is... Always fun. Actually, this one I might not be able to connect. Uh, I don't think my motherboard has a place for this. So there's like a a USB cable, but I don't see any USB slots on my motherboard. So this one might not be necessary or usable. Oh, I'm looking at it backwards. This part goes <laughs> into the pump, the actual like USB part, and this is just like a nine pin connector. Oh, oh. I see. Yeah, there's one right there. Uh, that's easy enough. Wait, no, that's that's not it. Ah, it's one of these. Ah, right, right near. Okay, we're good. We're good. We we found it. We we know the that I'm an idiot and just don't know what I'm looking for. But it's in. We got it. Also, knowing me, uh, the amount of proper cable management in this thing is going to be zero. Uh, so uh, that's gonna come back to bite me, but. Uh, too bad. We got the fan connector, the uh, system, like the, yeah, right there. Ah, good. Smooth. Oh, that's not the CPU fan connector. Uh, that's a, just a random fan connector. CPU fan's up here. Here's where we get the weird, like, having to maneuver wires part. 
Good. My favorite. Alright, I'm definitely starting to see where it would have made sense to plug all this stuff in outside of the case. You know, like, have the motherboard out and then do it. Because this is, a uh, this is annoying as fuck. Oh! That one's the one. I was confused as to where... I, I had the RGB one, and I was confused as to what this went into. That makes a lot more sense, because there was one, like... I could, I could pull this out. It wasn't that hard to put in. There's, like, one missing... And I was confused as to how it goes into the 4-pin one, when it is clearly not 4 pins. There's a 3-pin one. Ah. Now, every fan should have one of these. And this one can just go up here. I can actually, like, hook it in underneath. Oh, I have more rainbow connectors. Oh, I'm probably going to need that. Should I have it up there, or should I just put it in one of... No, I'll put it down one of these. I see, wait, where's one? Oh, one's up here. So two, four, five, there's six. Oh, one's over there. I can always change it. I'll just plug it into one and hope for the best. This one seems like the most out in the open, so I'll just plug it in here. I, again, I'm gonna have to like do some actual cable management for all this. My other computer, I actually did like the professional cable management when I bought it. That was like an option. I don't know what was professional about it. They just like zip tied some things and that was it. So it wasn't really managed that well. But I'm completely fine with just like unplugging stuff and having to just move wires. Uh right now I just want to get it I want to get it working cuz I don't remember it, I don't remember at this point if I uh mentioned my plan to test the motherboard. So because there's a good chance that the motherboard just might not work. Well, maybe not a good chance, but there's a non-zero chance that the motherboard won't work. My plan is to get it to where it boots up in the BIOS without a graphics card, without hard drives, and just load it up, check if the firmware's there, because uh, I don't, again, I don't remember if I mentioned, but my, my friend's motherboard had like half the firmware missing when he started it up. And that was kind of like the first red flag of like, hey, something's not right here. If I get to the point where I can boot up into the BIOS, everything looks fine. I'm going to leave the computer on for a bit. Then I'm gonna turn it off, leave it off for a bit, then turn it back on later and see if it still turns on fine. Because if it does, great. If not, then I have to worry... A, well, well, if it doesn't, then that's kind of what I'm hoping to find early, because then it, my hard drives and everything won't be in it. They won't get shot. Uh, I still have my old computer. I just need to then get a new motherboard, return the old one, get another power supply, and... Uh, we're, we're good. I mean, like I mentioned, obviously I don't want to have to do all that. I want it to just work first try, no problems, but uh, if, if it does fail, I want it to happen uh, before it has the chance to screw other things up, which uh, I feel like is a pretty understandable uh, way of looking at it. Cooling, completely plugged in, wires are everywhere, that's fine for now, like I mentioned. Uh, last step before I can test, though, is I obviously need the power supply. I need that hooked up, which means I need to stand this up because the power supply goes in the back here. I also have all the, like, case fans and such that I still need to, like, plug in. They kind of have cords coming out the back, which are supposed to go somewhere. <laughs> I'll figure that out later. That's not a super big problem right now. Well, I guess I should figure that out now, probably. Oh, yeah, I should definitely figure it out, because it's also the USB and everything. Yeah, it's like, all of these cords, I need to figure out where they go. Uh, those cords, I need to figure out where they go. <sighs> so much. Where's the thing for my case and my fans? Oh my god, I don't know what's worse. Trying to decipher the cords back here, or trying to actually plug them in? Like, physically plug them in. Uh, this I can actually plug into the same one for the fans, because it had an extra one specifically for, like, a light strip or something. 
I can just slip this in. And we're good. That's one, well, two connected. But where are my SATA ports? Ah, wait, that's not right. Oh, does this need to go into the power supply? Oh, maybe. Oh, it might need to go into the power supply. I might need to start figuring this out. Because it's not a SATA. It's a power SATA. Yeah, I, uh, it's definitely in the power supply. I'll just, I'll, I'll leave that. I don't know where these all go. Um, shit. Okay, so this one runs up probably through here would be the best. Or actually, probably through the back here. Ah, yes. There's like a slot that I can shove wires through. Good. I don't know what the hell that is. These are other things. Audio is all the way down here, so that I should be able to just run over here and then plug in on this corner. All right, so I got most, most of the cables in. Uh, this one's power, so I can't do that until I plug in the power supply. But what the fuck is this mess? This is the only set of cables that I don't... I'm assuming it all goes into one slot, but it's all, like, separated. So I have no clue. <laughs> what does it say? It's all, it's all like LED, LED power switch. Oh, power. That's a clue. Ha. Ah, found it. I think this is the most I've used a uh, manual for anything in like forever. <sighs> okay. I need to look and see what actually needs to go where because there's so many. I don't know why this is split. Like, is this split because like it's possible for the pins to just be set up differently on different motherboards? Because if so, that's terrible. And if not, and it's always going to be set up the same way, why the hell is it split and not just one connector? Like, that makes no sense. Everything's plugged in but power stuff. So now I, I can't avoid it anymore. I need the power supply. Fun! Oh goody! Another manual. So first things first, I'm going to take out this, uh, because the power supply is there. It's not screwed in or anything. But, uh, I'm gonna take out this hard drive rack. Uh, first of all, because I don't think I'll need it. I can put it back in if I do. But, uh, I just, trying to get to all of the wires with this sh piece of shit in the way, that's gonna be annoying. Oh my god, it's screwed in in the bottom too. I think I heard it fall out. Uh, I only took out half the screws, so let's take out the, out the other half and see if it's uh, out. Also, I'm clearly doing amazing camera work. I finally looked at the uh, shot that you got right now, and it's just amazing. I'll say it before. If you actually came to see the computer itself being built and actually see the, like, everything being put into it, you're, you're at the wrong channel. I mean, you probably realize that by now. Or, or you've been watching this channel for a while and, like, already knew it. What's going on inside the computer is not as important as what's going on, uh, inside my head. And the, the pain, and the suffering, and the hatred. Alright. Hard drive rack out. Fucking fantastic. You also probably didn't see any of that. Hi, I'm over here. Oh, look at this. We now have so much room for activities. I also may or may not have been recording for the past, like, 20 minutes because uh, I hit a button on my camera and it may have stopped recording, or it may not have been recording the entire time. I don't know, I'm just unscrewing shit. It's not that exciting, let's be honest. Power supply. In. And you know what? Let's just screw it in a while. Ugh. I don't want to do this part. It's just more wires. That's what I've already been doing. I don't want to do it. All right, main power connector. Which one of these, these all look the same? Uh, which one's main power? Hello? Main power? Please? SATA, peripheral SATA, PCI. Motherboard. Oh, it's the big boy. Whatever, the, I haven't seen that one. But it's gotta be in here. Oh, big boy. Big boy. Where does this go on the motherboard? I can just look in the manual. Oh, where should I run this cable? Uh, somewhere. Oh, is the CPU... The CPU one's different? So that other one doesn't go up there? It just... It... Oh my god. I thought I was getting a two for the price of one, and turns out I'm getting a one for the price of one. Oh, this one also goes into the power supply. Why is it... Oh my god, this is fucking... 
weird fucking design. Power supply cords are the worst. It's just everything's set up so weird. Like, the motherboard power cord isn't just the one big boy cord. It's a big boy cord attached to a big boy cord, which is also attached to a smaller cord that also goes in the power supply. Like, why? Why is any of that a thing? CPU. Which one's fucking CPU? Is it both of them? I hate this. This is the graphics card. This isn't even the CPU. I'm pretty sure this is the graphics card power. Okay, I think I was wrong. This is the CPU connectors. The only reason I know is because even though like some of the connectors seem different, uh, they are the only wires that not only have similar connectors, but aren't labeled PCIe. So it has to be the CPU ones because the other one was the motherboard. The PCIe ones are labeled PCIe and are completely just off. These fit. This has to be it. It's the only ones that would fit. Now plugging them in is another problem entirely, because these cords fucking suck. <gasps> I might have gotten it. I might have gotten it. There it is. I felt the snap. I felt the snap in. Okay. Now I gotta plug it into the power- run it down and plug it into the power supply, but that's the easy part. Well, maybe. Uh, where should I run these? I can run them out the back, because if I run them down the front, uh, like, I already have a bunch of shit in the way of the graphics card. I'm gonna need to do wire management before I put the graphics card in. But, like I said, I want to wait until I make sure the motherboard works before I waste time on that. But these, I might as well run down the back a while. Ah. It doesn't reach. Shit. How the fuck is this gonna fit? I have some space. Okay, that's not terrible. It's just not ideal. Oh, That's in now, too. Fuck. I hate everything. Uh, what's next? Actually, I think that's, uh, the SATA for this. That's the only thing I need. Because I don't have the graphics card in, so I don't need the PCI ones. Don't have any hard drives in, so I don't need the, the other SATA ones. Yeah, it's just the fans. And then I can close it up and get ready to test. I also realized I'm completely off screen. Hi, I'm over here. Uh, I won't be able to test right away. My parents are coming over and it's uh, almost 2.30. Uh, remember when I said I started this at like 10, 10.30? Yeah, didn't think it was gonna take this long. That's what I get for, you know, thinking it might be slightly easier. So basically I'm gonna plug that in. Once that's done, I'll just put the glass on the sides. I'll clean up a bit because I have boxes and stuff anywhere and I need to clean up before they get here just so they're not tripping over everything in my apartment. And then I will test it. Maybe not today, but definitely sometime this week. I, I literally just need to plug it in, plug in one of my monitors and just see if it boots up. But I just... Not only do I not really have the time, especially if I'm cleaning up, I just don't have the patience right now. I need to get as far away from this as possible, calm the fuck down. Let's just do that one more wire, and then uh, I can just end this recording. I've probably recorded so much, too, that this might actually be a two-part video. But, like, plugging in the- once I know it works, plugging in the graphics card, plugging in the hard drives, that's the easy part. So, that should go really quick. If I do split this into a second part, the second part I will also, like, actually record on the new computer and try to, you know, just do a few tests and see what I can get out of it. You know, maybe, like, start up Forza Horizon, see if I can go from ultra settings to extreme, because there's a level above ultra, but I'm thinking I wasn't able to use those graphics or like the benchmark didn't suggest those graphics because some of them are cpu bound just also making sure the encoding overload doesn't show up when i'm recording uh probably trying to export a video and just see if it's really quick that was gonna be my test because it normally takes like an hour to export videos but filmora actually like made an update and my last video took like a quarter of the time it took like 13 minutes so i'm thinking with the cpu it should take like five ten minutes like it should speed it up a lot because i think the cpu was a bottleneck when last i checked when i was exporting it was using 25 percent gpu with the new gpu but 75 percent cpu so i'm thinking the processor's bottleneck which uh if it is great because i just sped up my computer extreme well i know it's a bottleneck for certain things but hopefully it's a bottleneck for like 
editing and recording as well, because that would really help. That's probably the one area it would help the most. Uh, let's get this last chord in. C connected? Connect I, I know you're... Oh, is there... Kate, is there like a thing? No. It's uh just does not... It's just fighting me. Cool. Sata's in. There's also three extra like Sata connectors, which is good because I have three hard drives and it's right at where the hard drives will be. So that's really convenient. All right. So I'm going to, like I mentioned before, I'm going to end this part here because everything is plugged in. I, I was going to say everything's working, but I honestly don't know at this point. I haven't had a chance to test. I'll end this part here. Uh, maybe this will be in the, the end of the video. Maybe not. I, again, I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna have enough footage to do a second video, but if I do, this will be the end of this part. Next part, I will test the computer to make sure it works, make sure the motherboard works, because if that functions, we're good. Uh, if not, then I need a new motherboard, and I basically need to undo all the work that I just did to just put in a new, like, Asus motherboard or whatever. It's fine. It's whatever. I, there's no way around it now. But yeah, I'm not going to plug in the graphics card, not going to plug in the hard drives, because I should be able to boot in the BIOS without either of those. Once I am confident, confident that it is going to f function and work, then, and only then, will I turn off that computer, open it up, start pulling out the graphics card and the hard drives, and plug it into this computer. And test it incrementally. Like, I'll test it with the graphics card. Make sure, make sure it loads with the graphics card and recognizes everything. Plug in, like, the Windows drive and make sure I can boot into Windows. Because the Windows drive, if that... First of all, it's an SSD, and from what my friend mentioned like a lot of his i think he lost one ssd but most of his ssds were fine so maybe it's the i don't know if his way it was plugged in or the surge of power or whatever just affected the hard the actual hard disk drives more but there's also nothing on my c drive that is really important because everything i put on e either of my other two drives so if i lose that one and for whatever reason can't back it up or, or, like, restore the backup sucks, but it's not the end of the world. So I want to test that one first, and if I can boot into Windows with that, I'm good. Then I'll unplug the other two and load, load them in. And then and only then will I be confident saying that this project is done. <sighs> Fuck. I need to put the tempered glass back on.